Hello ladies, I wanted to jump in here on this Wednesday and ask you a question. And I want you to ask yourself this question as well. And the question is, are you trapped by your conditioning? Um, and there is a very good example of this uh, in the Bible, this story, um, that I'm about to read to you a little bit about. but. We, I think we miss, I know I do a lot of the times, and then I'll have epiphany moments like this one actually, um, that the Bible was written for our instruction. It wasn't just about stories about what happened back then to people back then, to different cultures and different times back then. It was specifically chosen, these stories in the Bible, as instruction and guidance for us how we can overcome, how we should live our lives, um, specific instructions on how we can do better and how we can change things. In this particular story, in regards to how we trap ourselves in our conditioning, is about Mary and Martha, okay? Um, so here it says, and this is Martha speaking, Lord, is it of no concern to you that my sister has left me to do the serving alone? Tell her to help me and do her part. Okay, so several things here. First of all, she's jealous, okay, because she's trapped herself in her own conditioning. But we look at the other people who haven't done that, that haven't trapped themselves by, uh, they've broken out of this box of self-conditioning, of environment conditioning, of experience conditioning, um, that we create, these limiting boxes of, of mindsets that we've created for ourselves, they have broken out of that trap. They're not trapped. They are free to not miss the purpose and the blessings that the Lord has for them. And so this is part envy that Martha was having here. Um, and she was upset, of course, because she was doing all the work herself. And Mary, though, she was getting the blessing. So. And Jesus responds to her and says, Martha, you are worried and bothered and anxious about all of these things, but there's only one thing that's necessary. And, and Mary chose that good thing, and that cannot be taken away from her, said Jesus. So this story is not just a story. It is for us, telling us, don't get trapped in your conditioning. Martha was trapped in this I'm supposed to serve, I'm supposed to cook, I'm supposed to pre prepare, I'm supposed to, you know, provide for all of you. Um, and she was stuck in that. And in the process of that, she missed the blessing. And Jesus literally told her that. You missed the blessing. Mary got to participate in the blessing, and that won't be taken away from you. It won't be taken away from her. And we have to realize that. Jesus was only there for... Uh, when he started his teaching it was for three years, you know, they had a limited time to be exposed to all of that blessing. And we have an equally limited time on earth to participate in the purpose that God has for each of us. All of the blessings that God has for us, if we don't remain stuck in our conditioning, which is exactly where the enemy wants us, of course. He wants us stuck in our conditioning. He has helped to create that conditioning, of course. He throws all these things at us to, create, to, to, put, this, to put us in a box, to think that, that we, that's where we belong, we can't get out of this box. We become comfortable in that box, sadly, you know. Then we have fear of man, so then the other things come into play um, because we have so little of our own identity, so little self-worth, so then we fear everything and everyone else. Um, so we become a product of our conditioning. Well, we need to break out of that, change out of our minds, out of that mindset, change our mindset, realize that we, if we are going to have everything that God has for us, and he has a purpose and a plan for each one of us here, we're here for a reason at this time, for a very specific reason, for a very specific purpose, um, and he wants to bless that, bless each one of the, bless each one of us with that purpose, so that we can be a walking blessing for others, and for others. So, sit down, ask yourself, what box am I 
creating for myself? How am I trapping myself by the conditioning that, you know, I have become a product of? And this can be generational. This can be generation and after generation after generation of conditioning that some of us find ourselves in. And we actually have to be the one that stops it in our generation so we're not passing that on to our kids of this limited mindset, of this limited thinking. We need to completely change our thinking and step out and act in faith in the purpose that God has given us. And, and when we do that, that's when the doors start to open. That's when we start to see with more clarity, more vision what God has for us. But we, first of all, we have to change our thinking. We have to break that conditioning off of us so that we can step in to the blessing that Jesus has for each of us. So I hope that you guys take a, a, a minute to do that for yourselves so that you can change your life and you can be that light for the others around you as well. You guys have a great Wednesday, and I'll see you again soon.